Howdy, Possum Patty here. And today I'm going to finish my hashtag prompt journal. I made the cover yesterday. Today I'm going to make the signatures and I'm going to start my hashtag the 100 day project. Now I will explain the project at the end of the video. But right now I am going to make the signatures. And I decided that for my hashtag the 100 day project, I would do just a quick watercolor sketch or just color, just play with watercolors for a few minutes every day and write something. That was important. Splash some watercolors and write something. So I got out these old watercolor pads that I had and it's so big I can't even fit it under the camera in the closet and I bought these years ago probably at AC Moore on clearance. I got these in Pennsylvania and when I lived in Pennsylvania I more often went to AC Moore and now that I'm in Connecticut I go to the Michaels because I just basically go to what's closest. But this was originally $31.99 and I got two of these pads on sale for $5 each. There's 20 sheets. It's a 140 pound cold press, acid free watercolor paper, 16 by 12, which means I have to cut them down to fit into the journal. It's pretty heavy paper. And it comes on a block. A block of watercolor paper means that it is glued on all sides so that you can paint right on the pad and it helps the paper not to warp when you put a lot of water on it. But I have to take the block apart so that I can make my signatures and to take it apart, what you do is you take a palette knife. Oops, I just had it in there too. And you stick it in there like that. And you run it around. There's my clock. It's the American Robin O'Clock. A lot of people are seeing Robins in Connecticut. And it is snowing out right now. So after I take the page apart, I cut them down to size and the book is just a little larger than six by eight. So the pages can be six by eight. So I cut this 12 inches by eight and fold it in half to get my six by eight. And I just rip the edge to make a nice little deckel edge there. So I think I'm going to go with the two signatures with seven sheets and a signature, which will give me 56 pages, which will give me opportunity to do two on a page or a few full sheets. So I can cover the whole 100 day project plus a few pages to write on or do a full sheet of picture. Okay, just some post-construction notes here. First of all, I want you to forget everything I said about page counts before this clip. This paper was so heavy and thick that I'm going with three signatures and not the two. So you can see the three signatures here. And the first signature has four sheets of paper and the middle one has five and the third one has four. So four plus five plus four is 13. Each sheet has four pages. So 13 times four is 52. So if I take one page for the opening and the title and one page for the closing, that leaves me with 50 pages. And if I put two days on each page, that will equal 
equal 100 days. So that is the plan. Opening and then each page will have two days for 100 days and then the closing. Next note is it took me a really long time to cut all this watercolor paper and then rip every single edge to get this wonderful deckled edge. Look at that. This is the same technique that I used in my gnome journal, only the gnome journal is made with cardstock. And each page is hand painted and completely covered up so you can't see it. Uh, let me find one. So here you can see it on this page. So each page was cut to fit in the journal, was ripped for a decal edge, and was painted with watercolors. And I really loved how they looked. Every page is the same size, but every page has this deckled watercolor. You can see the watercolors on here and the decal edge. So I decided to go with that look in this journal. Okay, I just used some embroidery floss that I had. I bought a bunch at a flea market, I think it was, and then I actually found the ones that I had. So now I got two bags of these. And I used the blue, the lavender, and the purple to go with the colors on the journal. And I used the simple pamphlet stitch, which is just three holes and tied in the middle. And I'm sure if you've been following along, you've seen me do this a few times. This one went quite quickly because I did it off camera, right? So it was a little bit easier to do but I think I'm getting the hang of it now. And I love how it came out. It was just a lot of work. It was a really long time getting this done, but it was a good project for a snowy afternoon. The plans were canceled for today because of the snow. So that is it. Here she is with all her watercolor papers and signatures sewn in and now I need to get started but to finish this video off I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the hashtag 100 day project. The 100 day project is basically a creators collab where you create something every day for 100 days and post what you've done every day with the hashtag the 100 day project. What can you do? You can paint, you can draw, you can doodle, you can sing, you can dance, anything you want to do, anything you want to create. Why do creators do this? Well, maybe they want to practice and improve a skill. Say they want to draw every day for 100 days to just get better at drawing. Or maybe they just want to produce a large body of work and at the end of 100 days, say they have 100 things that they made that they knitted. Or maybe they just want to play every day for 100 days. Now you can go to the 100 day project I think .org. I'll put a link below and get some more information. But basically all you have to do is create something every day for 100 days and post it online with the hashtag. Whether you want to play or practice or produce, it doesn't matter. So why not join in? So I'm just going to end this video here and thank you for coming along today and I will actually start working in this but I'll make it the next video. Bye bye now!